Chloe, can you tell us a little bit about this Quasar machine here from the Engineering Technology Group? Yep, so we've got a Quasar MV235P and it's got a BT50 spindle with a tapered spindle. So you've got your BT50 tools in there, you've got a, a 40 tool changer, you can have that optional with a 68. You've got an axis travel of 2040 by 762 by 661. You've got the coolant system and that takes 710 litres and you can have your controls, you can have your fan, you can have your hide you can have your Siemens. There's a height of the machine, it's 3000 by 380 and you've got a floor space of 5745 by 3800. I'm amazed that you remembered all that. How long have you been learning for this interview? Um, about two or three days, but obviously we deal with these machines all the time, so you've got to know it in the back of your head, haven't you? Where, where, where do you sell these machines into, Chloe? Where does ETG get success with, with a machine of this size to start with? Well, we've just done a big project. Obviously, we had it at Mac, and we had, um, we had the bike uh, frame on there. And uh, it just goes into like, uh, automotive industries and the big, it's very, very powerful machine. And you need to get, obviously you've got your BT50 spindle and it's got a 15K spindle on there. So it's good for taking big chunks of metal out. Have you got a lot of power as well? Because sometimes people look at a 15,000 RPM spindle and think they're going to be compromised when it comes to doing heavier cuts. But is that not the case here with this Quasar? No, I think the, uh, the Quasar takes it in its toll and it does, does really, it does do very good big cuts and it can run for an amount of time and it, it depends on the tooling really and what material you've got, but you can push it to that limit. And in, in amongst your range of machines at ETG, where, where, does, this, where does this position itself? So this fits just above middle range, so you've got the smaller quasars, but you can go bigger. This is quite a big machine. We're, obviously, it's got a really big force place, big uh, footprint, so it's about just above the middle. And with, with, the, with the premium machine, does it come with linear scales so that you can maintain the, the optimum accuracy yeah, when machine? it does, and we've obviously got the service team who will help you with all that and fit that together. So. And you're cutting, a lot of, you're cutting a lot of metal here. You're doing, a, you're doing a steel part as well as a aluminium part as well. Is that the beauty of a machine of this size, the fact that you've got a, a fourth axis unit at one end and you've still got plenty of working envelope to be able to do other jobs? Exactly. As you can see, we've got two, uh, two programs going on here and then you've got the, tool, you've got the uh, tool at the end so you can be able to change your tools and you can have that hooked up. You can get about three on there and obviously with uh, our sister company, hi you can have the big rotary axis and you can have a table size that can fit that whole table. Do you get involved in the sale of these machines back in, uh, in Wellsbourne? Um, I try not to. But um, I always uh, deal with the sales lads and whether because I run the training. So it's nice to be dealing with the customer first hand with the sales guys to know what they want and what controls they would prefer and what, they, what they're better suited to. And you mentioned training. So do you get involved in the training then? Is that kind of like your, your, your core function? Yes, yeah, so at the moment I'm training school coordinator. So as the customer buys the machine, their spec comes through the machine, whether how many days training they've got, and then I'll contact the customer and see when the time's available for them so we can fit them in to do their training. And they come in for training on a machine like this, they can learn whether it be Fanuc, Siemens, Heidenhain, it yeah, doesn't matter. So we do Siemens, we do Fanuc, we do Heidenhain, so you've got the 530, 610, 620 obviously in Fanuc, we do fourth and fifth axis machining, and you've got on-site training and you've got classroom site training, so there's a big comparison between the two. We've done a lot on uh, Wellsbourne recently, but how's it looking at the moment? Because I know there's a big move happened. Is it all coming together? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's looking good. We've just got it set up, so we've got all the plasterers in and got all the machines moving. But yeah, it, look, it looks brilliant at the moment. Good stuff. Enjoy the rest of the day. Thank you, Chloe. And you.